You need to do the domain expansion. Come on. And yeah, there you go. Come on. There we go. Oh, you're cooked. You're so cooked. You're done for. You shouldn't have done. <laughs> oh, it's over for you now. <laughs> oh, look at him trying to evasive. Hey there, my fallen ones, and today we're going to be going over the stock Resurrection, and a lot of you have been giving me tips and tricks of how to be using the Resurrection, so we're going to be going over that now. This account used to be my Manifest or Chaos build from way back when, almost a year ago now when I first started making Baroxide videos. It's been a long time since this game came out and I was big on it, so <laughs> hope you enjoy. Here are the stats we're using. We're going to Strength build because I heard that the Dogs into Cero is a really good build, but I heard that an even better one is dogs into M1s, into jump barrage, into M1s, into Sokyotsu is also very good, so we're gonna be making use of that instead. Here are the items as well, very good items, we're making and pushing a real good outfit, along with some pretty basic perks. This is literally just PV damage these two, then some less damage aerial, it's... <laughs> It's not like the perks are that big of a deal unless you have boxers, so I don't really mind. So sub like, I have a wonderful if you are. If you guys don't know, the way you use the ultimate with this ability is by landing this counter five times in a row without failing. If you fail, you lose the bar. But honestly, I'm not that mad because landing it five times is balanced because that barrage is pretty much a one shot if they don't have any evasive. So let's get around Iraq then, shall we? Originally, when redesigning this build with those amazing new codes they gave us for all that juicy little product essence, I was thinking that for this build we'd be using the Jagerjax clan, Grimjow, whatever you want to call him. But then I found out that Gilga is way better than Jager because you get 20% more health and then 15% more M1 damage or strength scaling, whatever you want to call it. So that's pretty overpowered in my book, so let's go. Also, another really good one is Lois and Barian. Other than that, there ain't no other clans I'd use with a strength build the counter now and after this counter you can combo by the way which is crazy a combo starting counter ain't something we've seen since dimension and you had to use a move to get that combo anyway there we go yeah this build's gonna absolutely abuse this fella you can pb the dogs but you can only pb the first one if they make it so that after pbing one you pb both of them maybe then stark would be more balanced but as it stands right now this is damn well overpowered let me pop my mode there run back in and sokyotsu yeah, I wasn't exactly having a lot of faith in your PB game there. The fact that you can jump and then do the barrage is OP. I think if they do nerf start, they're going to make it easy to PB the dogs, right? And then the other nerf will absolutely be something about the, the barrage. Because you're only meant to be able to do that barrage aerial, rather than just jumping and then do it. So I assume that's a bug they didn't mean to put in the game or something. Uh, let me see that domain. Yeah, I want to see you pop that domain there. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. I want to see that domain right now. <laughs> uh, I've almost got my awakening here. Once I get the awakening, I have an idea. You know how the flower has a domain? Let's pop mode in their domain so they can't escape me. That's actually genius. Hold up, <laughs> I might have cooked with that there. <laughs> that might be a little bit overpowered. All right then. You guys rate my rate the build though in the comments. I think this is a pretty good builder so far. Ooh, yo, this guy's actually kind of good. Wait, that's a little bit scary though. Alright, I'm getting lower. Mmm, they're gonna kill with a- m Oh wait, I gotta pop now. They're gonna kill me. I gotta pop now. Oh yeah, immediately here. Alright, I got a strategy though. As you all know, when you awaken, you get a big beam that you shoot out that scales with strength. So, since I'm a strength build, this is allegedly gonna do a lot of damage. If he didn't run away from me, which I'm assuming he did. Yeah, he's over there. <laughs> we'll try to land that on someone eventually. Don't think we're gonna get it there though. Ooh, ooh, get him with that now. Ah, oh, wrong move. Hit him with a sheaf now. The sheaf is really OP. It's absolutely free damage. Throw the extra dogs at him. Hit him with a barrage again. One, two, three, four, skim. Oh, yo, yo. No, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Alright, we get him with that. And hit him with the flames on the floor and then sheaf him. There we go. You thought I was trapped in here with you? No, you're trapped in here with me, buddy. Get away from me. Ha! I can just spam shoot you with my gun. Hit him with the dogs now, and then get him with those. And GG there. He's almost dead. Hit him with flames again. And flames. Those flames are pretty nice. Ooh, stay away. Stay away from me. GG there. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Three minutes for the first stock is crazy. He put away my items here, though. What do you say? He ain't said nothing in chat to me. The fact that you can just do that. 
is insane. Indeed it is, Fallen One. Indeed. Now, come here. Come forth and continue to give me a good match, you. That awakening was the only thing saving him. Now it's absolutely over for him, because that does a little bit too much damage, as you can tell. Ooh. I want to land my ult on them. I just don't think I'll be getting in the video. Because it's so hard to land the counter five times in a row. Uh, so if you don't get it this video, sorry, Fallen Ones, but just know I tried. Hit him with a free. Ooh, one, two, three, four, block. Hit him with the flames now, and then sheaf him. Ooh, that sheaf. That's the best sheaf in the game. Let's try to get the uppercut as well. There you go. The up tilt combo's even cooler. This is definitely the strongest resurrection in game. Easily. It's very worthy of that god title, but if they do add another resurrection fallen ones that make it godly, what do you guys think it would be? Maybe it would be Baragon's one, the King of Awakenmundo. Was Stark actually stronger than Baragon, or was Aizen just trolling him? I don't know. I assume Stark was stronger, though. As for Baragon, he'd have a really cool ability. I think it was something to do with Decay. I'm not sure, though. It's been a very long while since I saw him do anything in Bleach. <laughs> that must have been over five years ago when I watched it. I must have been 12 watching it back then. Alright, fighting... Oh, speak of the devil. Loisin Barin. We're going to be fighting his clan here. I say Gilga's the best for strength, though. Loisin Barin, if you get that too, it's good. Because it gives you agility regen and stuff, all that crap. Looks like we're getting a real mirror match here, though. Let me try to not fumble. Oh, he move like- Oh, he's a spirit one. Spirit Stark this time. Okay. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. There you go. We try to uppercut. Now it's my combo. <laughs> oh, you're silly there, sir. I gotta say. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> Damn. That's not okay. Okay. Yeah, we just hit each other. That's not cool, is it? It was so cute. So now- Oh, what was that? that what is happening to me? I was stunned for a minute there. One, two, three. Okay, I'm actually getting folded right now, I can't lie. The AFK technique. Oh no, <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> My AFK strategy would not work for me though. Like I said, we are better off because we're strength user than he is right now. He's just outplaying me completely. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This guy is absolutely outplaying me right now. I just need to be landing these ones properly. Please try to uppercut me again. That would make me a very happy man. Hit him with a skim. And then when he gets thrown away, so he to now. How's that PB game? Not looking good, hey? Not as good as it used to be, huh? No! Oh, that would have been a good counter, but I, I failed it completely. And hit him with the dogs now. Oh, there you go. One, two, three, four. Jump! Barrage. I'll get the barrage on him there. He blocked me completely, though. That's not cool, is it? Get him away. I've got my awakening ready. How about you, though? How about we see a little bit of your itsy bitsy awaken him? No, nope, it's over. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Alright, time to awaken them. Unless that kills me. Wow. Maybe this fellow's doing better. If he was a Stark user, I would have been dead a while ago. It's a shame he's fumbling. Hit him with the dogs now. Oh, he's going for it now, though. Alright, then. Like I said, we do better in awakening with strength, because that beam scales off of strength, so... Even if he did hit me, that wouldn't have done no damage to me at all. Hit him with that now. Good thing, too, that doesn't fully regen him. And hit him with a skim. Ooh, 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 that was nasty. And again, and again. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. <laughs> I'm spamming my counter. Oh, is he even going to combo heavy? He didn't. Oh, good. Go, goody. Hit him with the dogs now. Oh, he's going to use his dogs because I reminded him. Don't use them dogs. Okay, spamming that counter. Ooh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and let's see if I can get him to run up on me here. I'm assuming he's gonna run away, but uh, landing this beam would be cool for the video. It's just unlandable and ranked, because they can run away so easy. Oh, I tagged him a little there, though. <laughs> it, was very, it was a very brief moment there, but I did tag him. And hit him with the flames now, and then dog him. Yeah, it's over for you. You might have killed me the first time, but you're absolutely gonna get cooked here now. By me, by yours truly, the fallen one. Hit him with that now, and then one, two, three, four, five. Come on. Hit those M1s. Olé! No. Flames, flames, come out. There you are. <laughs> and that counter failed completely. Hit him with a sheaf now. Hmm, how did he evade me, though? He completely avoided taking damage to me, though. That wasn't very cool, was it? Hit him with the dogs. Oh, hit him with these M1s. And Cornea. GG, though. Alright, it's definitely over for him. That's a GG for me. This guy's giving me a lengthy fight here, though, I must say. I was trying to get him with an uppercut or something. Get him with the uppercut, because that has a big hitbox on it. I'm talking huge. Get him with the sheaf now. One, two, three, four. And there we go. Let's see if he can counter the dogs. 
Seems like he's gonna try though. Ooh, hit him with skim now. And then hit him with that as well. Oh, you're getting cooked here. <laughs> Block, hit him with that. Is my sheaf ready? Not quite. It's almost there though. Ooh, yo, 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 yo. Pretend to be AFK. No. <laughs> that tactic hasn't worked in a very long time for me now. Oh, that sheaf. Easily the best sheaf in the game, like I said earlier. That's brutal here. And where's that flames, eh? It was the flames. One, two, three, four, five, and Sokiotsu. GG though. Yeah, you strength of the spirit is not nearly as good. The main reason that Stark is even good with spirit is because you can use the dogs into one of the beams. But what if I told you? First of all, that guy wasn't using it, so that's why he lost. Second of all, not another idea I just had. What if I used Grand Ray Sero on this build? What if I used Grand Ray and replaced Sokiotsu with it? That could go hard. We could do dogs and then just beam him. Easy free damage though. Not sure how balanced that would be. Not very known peroxide. The only thing keeping this game relatively balanced is the fact that evasives are the evasive system's really well made. It's very simple, but peroxide actually made like the perfect evasive system, so you know that keeps this game slightly more balanced than it would have been if something else happened. Oh this guy I'm actually fumbling completely here. Let me start let me start fumbling the bag here. Let's actually start fighting him properly. And starts now. Hit him with the dogs. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four. Use that evasive and block that. Nah, I fucking stole your M1s there. That's a little cringe of you, ain't it? Oh, run back. One, two, three. And Sokiotsu now. Yeah. You thought you were a real sneaky PB in me earlier, didn't you? Well, little did you know, I am the fallen one. Hit him with the four now. You almost had me there. That's kind of spooky, ain't it? All right. And then counter now. Yeah, auto aim moves aren't gonna work very well against a counter build, huh? His build almost completely relies on that counter to get those combos, and it's gorgeous. You know what, that's actually a lie though, it doesn't because the free is a great combo starter as well. <laughs> uh, I think one of the nerfs will absolutely be that you have to actually be in an aerial combo to use the air type though, rather than just hopping. Because being able to just hop is pretty OP for it, although it's not really been carrying me here per se. Hit him with the dogs. Doesn't even matter if you land that stun on me, buddy. My dogs got me. My dogs. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Flower is pretty good, though. If we can get him to use Bonkai here, I can definitely awaken. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's try to get him to use Bonkai, and then I'll awaken inside of his domain. And that'll be an easy way to land it, finally. And I'll be able to show you all how cool it is. Yeah, do it, bro. Yeah, do, do it. I'm gonna hold block like I'm a fool. Yeah, just do, do the domain expansion. Do it, bro. No, no, do the do no, that's not the domain. That's not the domain, Fallen One. <laughs> you need to do the domain expansion. Come on. And yeah, there you go. Come on. There we go. Oh, you're cooked. You're so cooked. You're done for. You shouldn't have done. <laughs> oh, it's over for you now. <laughs> oh, look at him try to evasive. What a tragedy. When I saw him use that domain, my eyes lit up. I was like, yes. It is my time to shine. I kind of feel bad though. <laughs> that was, you know, actually nah. I was too funny to feel bad for him. So there you go, fallen ones. If someone wants to use their little domain or, or something, you know what? This would be really good. Oasis. If we fight an Oasis user, we could land it easily on them as well. So any barrier technique is just completely shut off by Stark user. Like I said, this is easily the best thing in the game right now. After some nerfs, I can see it getting more balanced. So I'm happy about that. But yeah. And now that I've used every ability, I'm finally going to be doing my opinion video. Talking about what I like about the update, what I didn't like. We'll be doing that probably tomorrow. Or the day after. Something like that. If this video gets 400 likes, we'll try out the... We'll try out Spirit Stark. This guy is going to town on me. That was not fun at all. Let me get my evasive cooldown a bit here, because that was not fun. Oh, I thought those were actually going to get me there. <laughs> How long range are those dogs here? I have an idea. You run in, hit him with the dogs now, and then Sokiotsu him. Yeah, he's gonna get away from that pretty easy. Mm, counter now? No? Yes? Maybe so? Could you fight me, please? <laughs> if we're not actually able to get the counter beam by the end of the video, then I will... Because I'm not focusing on the counter right now. We'll do a match, maybe next match, where I focus on the counter mainly. Actually, you know what? Let's do that now. Let's focus completely on the counter. Rather than actually fighting him. Let's just go full counter on him. Alright, come on, rush me. Counter now? Okay, lovely. That's one counter. We're just gonna land three more. And it's a low cooldown counter as well. It's easily the best counter of the game. 
it, you guys might call it a little bit of meat riding here. I'm not really meat riding though. This is just the best. Uh, this is the best build in the game. This is like not okay. This is genuinely OP. All right, he's gonna get a bit annoyed after like the fifth counter here, though, ain't he? Oh, screw you! You know what? Okay, next match. Next match, we'll do the countering stuff. <laughs> it's not gonna work here. It's clearly not gonna work. He's gonna ABA combo me because the damn flower actually goes hard. I'm probably gonna absolutely obliterate him when he tries to do his domain expansion. We'll live happy days like that. I don't want to deal with trying to counter him right now. I'll show you all the thing in main game if it really, if I really am not able to do it in the video in ranked because it is kind of hard with only two lives. I'll show you it all in the main game instead. It just does a lot of damage though. Get him with that now. There you go. You know, they didn't even need to make the counter the ultimate. They could have just given this no ultimate. It would have been just as good. All right. Well, I need you to use your domain before I can, before I can do anything here. Follow him one. I need you to use your domain. Do the domain. Oh, I, he knows I'm- oh, he doesn't want to do it because I'm low, huh? Alright, alright, yeah, actually kill me there. He, he didn't want to do it because I was low. Now I'm max HP, he's definitely gonna give it a try here. I'm gonna get a repeat of last match, just actually GG. No! You fool! Wait, never mind, this is still gonna work for me. It doesn't even matter, you're just stuck in there. It doesn't even matter, you're still gonna die. Wow. Oh, that doesn't it suck to be you, Fallen One? <laughs> Oh, poor flower users. With the final match here, Fallen Ones, I'm gonna say three easy things they can do to balance disability here, other than the Awakening. For the base, make it so that after PB and one dog, all of them disappear. First one. Second one, make it so the counter doesn't combo extend anymore, but it does a lot of damage, so who cares? Make the third one, make it so that the jump barrage doesn't work unless you're in the air. If they did all of those three things, I genuinely believe Stark would actually be pretty alright to fight, because the dogs are mainly one of the biggest problems, and the counter you eliminate those two, Stark would still act like it wouldn't be OP. I- I per- Okay, so you can- Oh, never mind, you can perfect block both the dogs. They just gotta be running at you at the exact same time perfectly, which is not something that's gonna happen often. <laughs> alright, line the first counter. We're gonna get a lot of counters here, Fallen almost don't worry. I'm gonna- we're gonna have to make the match a little lengthy. At most, the match is gonna be four minutes here, because I have to land the counter. Alright, those dogs are a great way for me to get a free counter. You know, you really would have- you know, honestly, regen. Yeah. Regen your health. Go for- I'm okay with that. Just use a very obvious way to attack- no, you st- Okay, you know, I'm gonna show you all in main game, because there's just no way I land it in right here. <laughs> I'll show you it all in main game. There is absolutely no freaking freaking way we're gonna land it in right here. There just isn't, so... Like I said, I'll show you in main game. Let's fight him now properly, though. Because he isn't even that big a deal, he's just a low eating barrier and spirit user. Ooh, you know, this Illicoria cosplayer, he's pretty good at the game, it's just clearly he doesn't do any damage at all, so... It's a little bit sucky for him, ain't it? Oh man, this guy plays it really well. I can't- I'm gonna win, but he's landing me in some pretty infinite combos here. I'm not gonna hold it. <laughs> this is actually this is giving some big combos to me right now. Alright, whole block there. Ooh, look at you heavy delaying. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, ain't it? Hit him with the cornea. One, two, three. I don't know what the word is. Cornea? Oh, Calmilo. There you go. Camilo. That's how you say it. <laughs> Hit him with the counter. That counter was on. The counter was on, you fool! I swear that counter was on. It was. I swear it. Get him with those now. One, two, three, four. Uh, he's low. He's a bit of an annoying fella, but I guess he is just kind of outplaying me, so can't be mad at him. Alright, we'll be able to take the first stock here nice and easy. Counter. Beautiful. Blow his head off. Legendary finish. <laughs> I guess he's got some sort of different color to it. Oh, I didn't realize that. The, the color of the wolves actually changed with your... Riyatsu, they should do that for Chaos. If they made it so Chaos colors change depending on what you're using, that'd be really cool. That'd be actually really nice. I'd go back to Chaos then, because Chaos is easily one of my favorite things in the game too. I'm only saying it's my favorite because it's very, very, very overpowered here. <laughs> Look at that. Now that I've killed him once, he's just kind of given up on life here. Ain't that just a shame? No. M2 now, and then block. One, two, three. Oh. Should I try to tank him? Wait, I have an idea. If I awaken now, will I perfectly land it on him? This could be true. Will this work? Oh, it, it, it did work actually. Wow. <laughs> so Stark users counter Stark users. Oh, that's pretty interesting, ain't it? 
and hit him. Okay, that I tried to sheaf there. That didn't go too well. No, uh, <laughs> hit him with the flames. One, two, three. Get him with the dogs now, and then hit him with the free. It's over for you. Absolutely over. I don't know my sheaf yet. Sheaf, I summon you. Sheaf, kill this man for me, and my life is yours. Yeah, you're not he being all of that together. <laughs> There's no way. All right, GG there then. That was pretty fun. Hope you enjoyed. Snub like. Yeah, have a wonderful interview you are. And that was the strongest resurrection in the game. Here it is, my fallen ones. I will be showing all of you the Starks of Metroletta. Let's use it on this poor fellow here. There it is. I charged it up after land of five counters on the hollows. It does god knows how much damage. Probably too much. Ooh. <laughs> you can also turn it, which makes it really good. I'm not sure of the range. I'm assuming it's from where I was to about maybe the shadows over here. A very good beam barrage. And I hope you all enjoyed. This resurrection, as I've said for the 50 millionth time here, is just way too overpowered. These nerfs need to be... Hopefully not too heavy, but good enough to where the game gets a little bit more balanced for 1v1s.